Hi there, it's Tanya from Tossy Treasures. Hope you are all well. Um, I'm here today to do a little bit of an Edith Holden project. Obviously now we've got to the end of the 3 and 15 and I've finished decorating them and things. So I thought it would be nice to start making some um, other bits of Edith Holden ephemera. So... <clears throat> Um, and you don't have to do it with these book pages. You can do it with any book pages. These are the book pages from the Nature Notes. So you can see <laughs> the writing is very different. I haven't got another... Um, I haven't got a piece from the Country Diary. But uh, the writing is very different. On the pages that are just writing, it is you know just really plain font but there is a lot of poems in and stuff which is um a nice slanted um font so they're still pretty and it's just nice paper and it's got a nice color in uh, and it's a good way to use it up and like i say you can do this with any book pages obviously these are um a bigger sorry oh dear <laughs> uh, a bigger page um So these are like 9 <coughs> by 7. So yeah, they, they're a big page. Um, but, you know, you can even do it with digitals, A4, you know, copy paper, wallpaper, whatever. Um, I was just looking, I ended up with a stack of uh, these papers and I thought, right, how can I use them? So... I've made something similar to these before, before I had a YouTube channel and I did them with the Tim Holtz uh, butterflies and they, I put a little hole in where the wing went in and you open and shut it that way. With these, I've put this square here and I've glued it all the way to there. I've just left that bit unglued where you can just tuck it in and out. Uh, I have cut the pages down to about six and all I've done so far is is inked around them and inked inside them. Um, I've got a kind of idea what I'm going to do in the middle and all I was going to do is put a die there and perhaps a bit of lace um, down there for the decoration. So what shall we do? So, I've got my um, little trimmer out. It'll be a bit awkward doing it on the little one because it only goes to um, six and a, and a half. Um, I'm going to start off by just trimming a little bit of the actual length. Not a lot at all. I'm going to try and... Yeah, that, oh, wow. Spot on. And then I did do them to six. So I took that off and about the same, same again. Obviously it doesn't have to be um, spot on. So yeah, that's not, not bad at all. Um, so I'm going to do enough. So I've got enough for six. So I think the six inch is kind of just before that line um, on either side and then it just straightens them, them up as well. But yeah, if I'd have got the big trimmer out, obviously it would have been a lot easier. But I just can't fit, fit it on my desk. Okay, I've got six of them cut. I did take a piece from each side to cut it off just to keep the text, you know, more more central. I thought if I cut it off more uh, one side, it'll make it a bit, a bit wonky. So that's the way I did it. So that's the bit that's going to go down. And I think this was about two inch. No, one and a quarter. Let me use a different... I wonder if this one will go in it. Yeah. So, let's 
so did I say one and a quarter I need to take that off to actually see the thing so we'll score it at one and a quarter like so and then let's have a look at the other one that's three and a half so I'll turn it round and do it <coughs> at three three and a half so that's that so go one and a quarter and three and a half yep so I was on the wrong one I don't I don't suppose it matters um, in the slightest I'm going to say and obviously whatever um, size pages you're doing you can just do it to, to whatever but obviously the first one that I made I didn't measure anything I just visually eyeballed it and obviously that for me was was kind of the right the right dimensions for for that size paper and three and a half. keep wanting to go down that other one three and a half so one and a quarter and three and a half Honestly, I've got my new glasses on as well and I still can't see. Mind you, I mean not like these are, um, you know, if they was in like a, a black font or something, but it's um, it's not the easiest to, to see. So all I'm going to do now is just get them all folded and just give them a little bit of a burnish down like so I am denied if to round the corners or not um, and I ended up going with not only because the image that I put on the front was a rectangle one um, maybe if it had been a circle or an oval um, I think I've done that one a bit a bit shorter but that's fine um, yeah I perhaps would have rounded him but um, I did think or oh, I think the um, you know normal corners would be it'd be the best so yeah I kind of looked at it and and thought, yeah, I think I think just keeping them like that is is for the best. So I'm going to get my ink and I want the vintage photo because the other two are a bit dark. And um, I was saying the felt is um, starting to come come up, so. I am ready for a new one, but um, I'm umming an Orin if to try the tea stained one because I do like it's a bit lighter um, for doing the Edith. I know um, Fiona Miss Paint a lot when she does Edith, she uses a green, um, and when she first said it, I thought green, um, but it looks really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I think I fancy um, a tea dye. I want it to look, you know, like it's um, got some age. But um, yeah, I could perhaps do with going a little bit lighter than, than vintage photo. I have tried the antique linen. Um, and to be honest, I couldn't even notice any, any was on. So I'm going all around them, all around the edges and the creases and then I'm going into the inside and again doing all the creases, um, just just the edges, I'm not doing into 
into it or anything um it's just just to go around around the edges so yeah it's quite a lot of of inking really when you when you think about it um it feels like it's it's never ending so that's that one done okay so i've inked all around them um they're all pretty much the same size which is nice um I've got these printouts now they're from a CD that I've got um, I did do a haul video showing you the um, CD ROM that I've got and it's this one a crafters companion now I was lucky enough to stumble across this one now at first I thought it was the same the same one because online as well the colouring looks very similar until I looked carefully at it um, and notice that this one is a crafter's companion and this one is a Joanna Sheen so I've never seen this on eBay before um, and I just yeah stumbled across it luckily nobody else had bid on it or anything and I, I actually got this one uh, cheaper than this one and this one is absolutely fabulous there's lots and lots to to print out um, on here and it's near enough got every single image uh, in the book whereas this one uh, doesn't have at all still a nice one to own but um, yeah this one's brilliant so what I did is I printed out some of the smaller um, things obviously you can do this with small journal cards you can do it with like tea cards um, I, like I say, I did it before with butterflies, um, anything at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue to about there. And I want plenty on this corner because um, down that side. So obviously don't want it to, to pull off and I'm just going to stand it up and look where ish I've glued and just straighten straighten it up and hopefully that part won't have any any glue on it so I'll just give it a rub down and then, so while it's drying I will leave leave it open so I'll pop that there So I've just got my thing, my well, my thumb there to to remind me not to not to go over that, and I've only left a small lip because um, obviously it only tucks under. You don't want to do it deeper because you'll have problems um, like flipping the flap out. So because all you're doing is putting your thumb there and, and going like that if it was deeper in um, it wouldn't just, just flip out like that so that's that one okay so they're all done so what I'm going to do now is I've got some of these um, Tim Holtz wildflower dyes what Violet does for me and she's done me a load in some pastel colours um, so there was this one with a little bit of purple on so I thought that nice um, lilac -y colour looked nice or well, there's this kind of mauvey colour I think I like the mauvey colour So that's fine for those and then <clears throat> got some pinky ones here so we look at these I don't know if these are more peach than than pink so we look well oh no I like that so that's a bit brighter Yeah. I love these dyes, but <laughs> this is such a terror. So 
so <clears throat> that'll be fine for those two and then again we've got some pink now I don't know if let's have a look what the green um looks like I'm not mad keen on that actual um, dye. Um, I think the shapes look look funny. Let's, um, oh, that's a different shade. Oh, I like that. So, um, oh, we've got this like a beige colour. Oh, that's got a green on on the back as well. No, I think that's a bit dull for for there. That's a nice green. Oh, no, no, that's the back of that. It's funny how I didn't like it in the other one then. Ah, that's the green that I'm liking, but that one's too uh, too wide for there. So what? So it's like a bright green on the other side. So I think that's probably a bit thin, yeah. Do, do, do. There's probably one in here. It's it's just finding it. Yeah. I keep doing that, don't I? <laughs> but yeah, she's obviously done these on a card with two different colours which is great because obviously it gives you more choice but so uh, yeah it's a bit confusing when when they're in the tin and and you're looking uh for them perhaps i haven't cut any more of that colour Ooh. right i've managed to <coughs> to find <coughs> excuse me <coughs> another one for that um, right, so next I'm going to get those um, stuck down. Now, normally I'll use this and just dob it on. And I had a chat with Julie this morning. We wasn't talking about it. It just, I don't know, sometimes like you discuss things, don't you, with somebody and things pop into your head. Um, and it, it was about something that she said to me ages ago. Um... And she said, why don't you try putting the glue on your hand um, if it was a small, you know, die cut. And then you'd press it onto your hand, the glue would be at the back, and then you'd stick it on. And I totally, I did try it, and it, it was just a gunky mess. Um, and then this week I saw uh, Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle do the same with lace. Um which re really reminded me and that that's I said that to to Julie and then I said I wonder if we put some three in one on some grease at first I said some acetate but then after I thought that might be a little bit difficult to to see now I've, I've obviously never done this um it, it was you know just a fleeing comment now I'm I'm gonna do go a, a bit wide. Now I did have a little paintbrush out to see if I could spread it, but first I'm gonna try it like this. Um, I did get some tweezers out. Now these are really cheap ones from from the pound shop. There was I don't know there was like a pack, and I think they've got about four or five different ones. Um, I threw most of them, I just kept two because they was all quite weird um, shapes and stuff. So I've stuck that down and I'm thinking I, I'll try. Now these ones have got a bit of a point on. They'd be no good for lifting anything of any weight. Um, they are so thin. I doubt if they'll even clip together to do the pins in. But I know like ladies who do jewellery and things like that, you seem to have these tools and I'm guessing the better quality um, than what these are. So now I'm going to lay that on there. Now it has still, still done that 
can you see what oh, you probably can't let me just get it down see we was on about um i said i hardly use the beacon anymore um and i said oh, i've gone right off it because of its shininess so i've been using the art glitter glue more um so here look you can see that it's like a spider's web which then you're still going to get that um shininess so i to me that worked and it looks as if it's got it all because again when you do the dub 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 thing <laughs> dip 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 dub 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 no it's not got that bit but I think it's got more than it would have if I just dubbed it. So, with that being said, let's try it with the art glitter glue. So, I could do with I'll just turn that over on my board because obviously I don't mind. It, it, it going on there so I shall I am nearly out of this so it probably won't I think I'm actually out of it now this now this second <laughs> well you won't credit it would you so let's try let's try glue stick actually Sorry about the dog, I think he's getting excited. Seems to be lots of people at the minute going on walks and, um, you know, going up and down on new bikes and things like that. Roller skates. So, I'm just going to make sure it's all pressed down imagine if it just glued on it but it won't will it because it's grease proof paper i think that's why i obviously said acetate at first pick it up with something thicker than that yeah but i do think if these tweezers was a little bit more um solid i hope you can see because i know i'm right on the right on the side so we'll pick that up I'll just get it in my finger. Tell you what I'm going to do. Hey, this could be. It depends how long the glue stick, you know, if it adheres it. And it's not going to drop off after. But I think that's where it's out pretty, pretty well. Let's do another one in, in that. I mean, I don't know if anybody else has done this or not. It literally did just pop in into my head. So we'll just make sure it's all laying down. We get my piece ready. Pick this up. Don't rip it. That's it. And I have got bare minimum on my fingers compared to to normal. Let's lay it down. I absolutely love this sprayer, you know. I don't know how I've lived without one. I mean, who'd have thought that I'd have been doing this with it? So, yeah. To me, that's like really pressed it onto the paper. So, I think that's going to be be the way. I was going to get the Kalal out and, and try that. And I've got um, a new bottle of Cosmic Shimmer, which is um, like a... A cheaper version of art glitter and 
to me, there's not much difference between the Cosmic Shimmer and the Art Glitter. It's just the fact that the Art Glitter bottle is, is better, which um, I was going to um, decanter the Cosmic Shimmer into the um, Art Glitter bottle anyway. So let me lay that down but when I ordered my new cosmic shimmer they've actually changed the design of the of the um, the top of it uh, because before the, the nozzle was great but I mean that was the first long nozzle you know long thin nozzle I'd ever used um, so for me I thought it was brilliant but it was very long um, and you did have a lot of problems with it gunking up and stuff. So now they've done um, a lot shorter. It's still, I mean, I bet you that hole's not probably much bigger than the art glitter. Um, so I'm not going to rush into filling the art glitter up. I'm going to see how I go with that actual tip uh, for a little while. So that's that one. <laughs> so, it, it, like I say, it's funny, isn't it? The the discussions that you can have, and that's so what's so good about having like crafting buddies because, um, yeah, you know, at my normal work or with my partner, I wouldn't be having discussions about. Um, you know, glue and this, that and the other. So when you've got a pal who you chat to about these things, it's surprising the ideas that um, that do pop into your head. Um, and I thought, because I'd had that conversation this morning with that, I thought I'm going to do it um, today. Why it's fresh in my head, because again, a lot of these little things that you do talk about, they're not actually earth shattering things, they're just little ideas, aren't they? Um, and yeah, I, I forget little ideas. So now I've done it, hopefully, because I'm only using one on each one, it's not like I'm doing loads and loads, and it's it's a big long drawn out process so yeah give it a go let me know how you get on let me know if you've tried any other glues um or if you do this already or something similar uh to it because i'd be quite quite interested um I'd especially be interested, you know, if somebody turns around and goes, yeah, we've been doing it that way forever. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm thinking that this is, is a unique thought, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably not. But unique to me. <laughs> and Julie had never thought of it. So And, and Julie's crafted for, for a long time. I'm going to say that's that I do like... Um, asking her about things and stuff because she's she's got you know a, a good a good knowledge um of things so that's that if they fall off because obviously these are going to be going away till next year so when we get them out when we're doing some file folders and stuff we'll be able to see if um They've stood the, the test of time. So that's that. Okay, so now I've got some laces. Really enjoyed this lace. Um I think I bought it in a bundle off off eBay and I bought like a coffee and cream set and it's it's been really nice. Um I'm not sure if I've got enough to do all six envelopes. Um, if not, I have got some like green out, but I think the green would clash with that peach. So I thought I'd do these ones first. So I'm just going to cut off just a bit longer than I need. So I can then trim it 
it off because I'm I'm gonna use the cosmic shimmer um to stick it down um because that's what we was talking about how uh, the Beacon 3-in-1 and the, the Fabri Tank leaves things very shiny. So when you've got your lace done, you can see that there's loads of shine, um, you know, in the holes of of the lace. Um, so I do want to try um, the Fabri Tank, um, yeah, the Fabri Tank and, and lace on the paper like I've, I've just done, but... I'll save that for, for another time. So I'm going to use this Cosmic Shimmer. Um, and, and this dries, you know, the same as Art Glitter. Um, so it, it's not an instant grab. And it does dry white. So I'm not going to put it right on the very uh, corner because obviously that will be going up and down. So I've just gone, you know, a little fraction um, down. So I'm just going to just pull it down a little bit more with my finger. So that's that's that. Shall I leave that to totally dry before um, I cut that? So let's do... Do another. This bottle feels um, quite heavy and dumpy because I've got used to the um, art glitter bottle. Feels quite quite tough to um, to push as well. Okay, that's the second one done. I think I probably will have enough of this to, to do all, all six. So let me measure up. I might as well cut all four now. What have I just done with my, my scissors? Uh -huh. Pop them in. in the basket. Come on, that's it. Two and I want four. Yeah, I've got plenty. Three, four. So that's the lace done. So I might put um, a little bit of pearl um, trim on it. I was thinking either one or two, no, three, two or three um, across the lace, or I might just have a couple um, on the picture. So we'll see what that looks like when it's dry. I don't really want to handle these too much until until they've dried. So that's that. All these bits of snip off, I will put them in my um, jam jar, and they're always very good for uh, clusters and snippets and things like that. Um, and surprisingly, when um, when I start a new project, I'll empty like the jar out and take, you know, the colours out that I would possibly use, and I put them in um, something smaller, can't, um, and put them on my tray. What I use, um, what I keep everything for that project on, and um, yeah, normally by the end of the project, I have I have used it all. So. But if it stayed on that jar, you know, at the back of my desk, um, it, it just wouldn't get used. I'd, I'd forget about it and it's too far to to reach over when I just think about it. So, yeah, it definitely, that just getting it out and having a, a, sort, a sort through it is very good. 
Right, so that's those six um, done. So hopefully now I can um, snip them off. Like so. I did try to do it. There would only be uh, one end that needed cutting, but I obviously forgot on some of them. Or well, sometimes one end was a little bit scruffy. So that's that. Yeah, it's dried pretty, pretty quick. But yes, I seem to be using the Beacon um, Stroke Fabri-Tite less and less. And I'd actually, because <laughs> I buy it two bottles at a time, so I've actually got two bottles spare. But, no, I mean, that's fine. It's sealed, it's not... Um, it's not going anywhere. I'm going to say if you're doing something heavy and stuff then. Um, or if you definitely want it stuck there and then. But yeah, I will try that on um, the brown paper with the, with the lace. So that's that. And that's that. Yep. Okay. So let me just gather up all these bits. I don't think they're worth keeping. That one's fine. That one's fine. But yeah, they're, they're very today. Oh, I'll save them. Gosh. Um, don't worry. About it. Oh, it's there. Right. Popped them in, in there. So I've got this um, pearl trim. And oh, that looks a bit nice, don't it? It's a bit extravagant. <laughs> so, no, I'm not keen on it there. Not keen on it there. What does three look like? You know, I quite like that. Just in three across there. Well, what about having it across there? Oh, nothing looks as nice as that, does it? Oh, one, two, three. We've probably got enough, actually. Oh, what to do, what to do. Yeah, it just seems like a lot of... Um, I don't think it's... It's not expensive, I don't think, is it? But I forget how big this one is because um, I had one before what was far too big. Oh, I do really like that. I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, I had one before what the, the pearls are... They're not far too big, but they're too big for putting in, in journals. Probably twice as, as big. Um, and then I ordered these. I don't know if the seller was just sold all the sizes, so I just went for the smallest. But, um, yeah, these ones are just, just right. Now, I'm not sure if the glitter glue will stick this or not you know oh I'm gonna have to either shuffle it that way I don't think it's gonna stick it you know Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for five-ish minutes and then we'll come back to it and see if it's stuck because if it has and it just takes five minutes, then that's fine. If it hasn't, then obviously I will have to fabric out that. But yeah, I really like that. I do feel that that needs a little bit more ink in. So um, I think it, it, I'll come back in with me, brush a little bit. So yeah, I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, I'm back and it looks like it's it's stuck fine. So I'll do the rest. 
so my owl's waiting for it to stick um the inside i've just stuck you remember from the three and fifteen i've still got this basket of stuff cut out so i've put the nettle and the butterfly image behind the pocket i've just put a cream pocket um down which um is a dye that um <clears throat> violet's done for me and then this little um trim here i've just stamped it and i've done it with a vintage photo um so it's not you know and i think the the color looks nice with the uh, paper just got this circle punch out there which is um text from the country diary i've put some of the um burlap netting thing has it actually got a name it's just called super ribbon on that um deco spider web roll oh okay spider web roll i can remember that <laughs> she says um yeah laid some of that up i've cut it a bit to make it a bit raggedy and then i've put a lovely butterfly on from the edith Alden book and i've just ripped with my tear roller some cream copy paper inked it round uh, stuck it down and then i've just done a stamp and they're from the edith holden <coughs> stamp set that i've got which was free in a magazine a couple of well it wasn't this summer i think it was like the spring uh before before that so yeah a while so that's going to be that one obviously this is going to need a tag um and i will be doing some sessions on doing some tags so i've inked a bit more around there so that's that one done um yeah i've done them this way because my thought is um don't know if i can um these ones are just a little bit bigger than a traveler's notebook but um they should fit in fine so <clears throat> my thought was it's on a page like so stuck down probably keeping this side um open so you can have a journal card there then it would just go like that and open it up and then you can still still write on on there so that was the kind of um why i did them that way obviously you could do them that way and just do them smaller but yeah i really fancied those because i thought you know they're going to take the majority of of a page up so that's that um so yeah let's um get these jewels stuck stuck down so we'll move that one out of the way um i've just been down and made myself um a nut um caramel latte and i've got some rollos so um i'm gonna i'm gonna have one but yeah first i'm looking for what have i done with them envelopes i bet you have put them somewhere really safe right i'm gonna pause while i gather myself yeah they were just in the in the tin at the side of me um so let's um, get this measured up. So that's fine. That. Put them there. Right, I'm going to put a touch more glue than I did last time. But obviously, it's only a thin um, bead, so I don't want to be going uh, too wide. But yeah, I think it took <clears throat> about 10 minutes for it to be solid where I could, you know, um, put a little bit of pressure on it to to check if it had properly stuck. Let's check that straight. And 
I'm gonna like just press down so we know that it's all oh, press down I'm lifting it lifting it all um just so we know it's all all down so I'll put that over there next so I've got some different pockets uh, to put in each one because I thought it'd be interesting to see um, where they'd fit in the space and, and things like that so hopefully um, they'll all fit in okay but I will make some um, other envelopes so what will go that way um, another another time so that's all those done and um, we'll do the insides now I think that's the one that I've already done so let's have a look at oh that's the last one I've stuck down that's not dry yet let me just put that to one side um we'll look at the different pockets I've got what uh Violet sent me so we've got some one of these uh corner pockets which has got the uh slat in the middle and she's done it on um a kind of hammered card i really like that um texture unless she's um put it through the embossing folder but i do think that's um just a hammered card we've got a small slot a large slot these are all that hammered stuff we've got a corner pocket with this lovely um lacy detail got a tall envelope love these envelopes um yeah these are from a die that <coughs> she's got and she did me some card with them um, i think that's martha stewart's um punch so we've got all different things let's pull the first one in oh let me turn the volume down right so let's have a look at this envelope first yeah it's not going to be too tall so could always yeah it would have to go on that one so we can do something with that so if that's the case i'm gonna mat both of those with the cream um copy paper so let's see if I've got enough to do both with this uh, piece that, that I've started. So that's fine for that one. And that's fine for that one. Let's get the length. there and about there okay so I'll just go around with the vintage photo over here so I just go around like this you're not really gonna see that um, edge really so we'll go around there go around the back so 
go under the flap. So after this one, I'm going to pause and I'm going to get <coughs> all the mats in. Um, and then we'll just do the, the pocket part uh, together. Because um, this video is going on and on and on. It's going to be a long one. So let's get this stuck down first. So we need to put glue on this flap. Yeah, this this uh, tip's not as fine as um, as the art glitter glue. Definitely not. But it's it's better than than it was. Um, so I'm glad they have changed it. So I've just stuck it just a little fraction away from the crease so it's not in the crease. Oh, I hope this fits now. Yeah, that is the one I just did. Uh, so we'll get this stuck down. Okay, so I've got them all stuck in. The only one that I didn't use was the, the little uh, one because I'd, I'd picked seven out. So I'll start from the bottom. So I'm just going to give that a good press down. Like so. That's it. Um, let's see what we can stick down. Oh, I've got that little bit left. No. It's a bit it's a little bit too short. So I want something biggish to go at the back. So that'd perhaps be nice. So I'll just give it a little ink round. <clears throat> I have just transferred the um, Cosmic Shimmer into this uh, bottle because, um, yeah, the nozzle's definitely bigger on, on the other one. And I just found it a little bit harder to s squeeze out, whereas um, the Art Glitter one's a lot better. Only trouble is, after using it a couple of times, like, it's, it's going to look a mess and I'm not very good with things looking uh, a mess so I might have to buy the occasional one just to uh, change change the bottle over so I'm gonna have a look at some dyes I don't know if to add um, a butterfly or something on here there that would be nice so I'll just pop that down I'm obviously not doing the thing with the um, what I did earlier um, just for the fact that I've put the roll away and stuff but yeah that definitely and I think if you're doing quite a few <coughs> it's well worth um, getting some greaseproof paper and and doing it so just try and move that over slightly that's it so that's that then I'm going to put a little stamp there um I did have it somewhere it's here so I'll use the floral one again and I'm I'm just going to do it with the a vintage photo. Let's press it down. I didn't put any um, text on that one. I did forget. So that's that one. So I'll put that to the side to dry off. Let's have a look at um, the next one. So that's that. Why you think about it? Um, Got some. Oh, that was a bit splodgy. Mm. Um, I'm just gonna try and see if I can just dot some 
with our Ghana Avrila. I have stuck an image down um, at the back of that because obviously I knew that I wouldn't be able to, to get one get one in. Um, it's a shame I can't I've not got um I know I've not got any small words. So I just I don't know if it really I might again put a little butterfly on because we've got that image um behind it. So we just have a root in this tin again. Gonna be too blue. Just slide over and have a look. I think the dragon. Oh, I could have the dragonfly um, hanging over the bottom, like that. So that's that. Um, let's change my stamp over. So I think I'll have this longer Oof, floral. I've not used this one. Yeah, I've only used that one and that one. I think I've used the bird ones. Um, and I think I've used one of the, the butterflies. But um, yeah, I'm going to have a session with me um, stamping Matt at some point. So that's that one. I do like them in the vintage photo. So that's that. Um, next where's the next one that's this one so this is a really uh, deep pocket um, definitely want to put some stamping over there hopefully um, I'll be able to find a big a big image because I won't put an image down the back on this one I'll do it over on the actual pocket Well, I've got the ink out, I might as well um, do the stamp, haven't I? That's it. So that's that one. So let's have a look what pictures we've got left. Oh, that's pretty. I think I might go for that one. So I like how it's it's wide. No, I like that one. Let's just have another quick look. Oh. I do like that. Now, do it, do it that way. That way. No, I prefer it the way that I add it. So, like that. So, I thought I was trying to think of projects to to use all these um, fussy cuts. You know, up before they get lost, ruined, forgotten about. <laughs> so that's <coughs> that's that one. And I've done that one. And this one. 
So what shall I do with this one? We want a tallish image. And I've got the other half of that um, dog rose one there. I wonder if to just cut. I'm going to cut that top <coughs> bit off and I'm going to use, use that. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. So, and that one's already been been inked. I'm gonna say the first lot of fussy cuts that that I did for the three and fifteen, I did sit and ink them all, and then when I had to cut some more out, um, I didn't I didn't ink them. But it was a lot nicer having them all inked. But obviously, it was a it was a long process cutting cutting them all out and. Oh, can I get this in? <laughs> um, yeah, cutting them all out and inking them. Why is that? Oh, it's all bunched up. And <clears throat> when I slipped it in without any glue, it, it just seemed like it was going to be really easy. Hopefully there'll be still enough glue on it to, to stick. Right, what I'm going to do is... <coughs> I never used that stamp when I did the Christmas. I f forgot about it, to be honest. just going to stick that in there while it um, sticks down. But I can see... That's not stuck. I think the rest does. Um, why is that just gone? What's oh, there? Just pop that in there while it uh, dries. And then the last one is the one. Oh, I didn't put a stamp on that one, did I? Oh, come on. Right, let's have another stamp for the last, the last two. I'll go for the other, the other floral. So that's that. It never looks like there's anything on it. It's weird. Yeah, that's lovely. Right, put the lid back on. Pop that over there. Right, so this one, with that, um, I think I'm going to put a stamp, actually, um, on this side because I think otherwise it will be be a bit cream not that there's anything wrong with cream I love cream um, but yeah it just wants a little bit of of something so then I mean once it, these things have got tags in and all the rest of it it will obviously um, make a difference so let's think about um, I want something tall and tall and slim. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Now, let me just have a root round, see if I have got any words or something. Oh, man. what stickers I've got these obviously aren't Edith Alden but I did put them in with the Edith Alden things because I thought they they went nice just 
let's put don't have to put that up there yeah I think I'm going to put that in the corner so that's that um, I feel like there needs to be something something behind that really um, I've got a bit of this left. No, it's not really it's not really cutting it, is it? What about maybe that's too too brown. Um I bet you a bit of music paper. I just can't think where me collage folders I've got it now but I'd obviously started organizing for uh, botanicals and stuff so everything's everything's in it to the uh, left of me instead of the right so let's rip some of this down Yes, but well, was it a gas? Well, want a great gas, but you <laughs> want a bad gas. Yeah, that feels feels that. Let's see if we've got enough um, ink on. So yeah, this has been a really long video. So if you are still watching to the end, thank you very much. Um, hopefully you'll want to make some of these and I wanted to do them all different inside just so you know um, sometimes it can just nudge you to think oh yeah what about this and that and the other so I quite enjoyed doing doing a more with different uh, pockets Okay, that's that. That looks better. And that's that. So I think the next time we do an Edith Olden one, we've got some tags uh, to do. So there we go. Yeah, I think that's just one tag in there will be plenty. It will just be enough. So thank you very much for joining me and I shall see you very soon. Bye for now.